We're here with number nine, Greg Nettles. Greg, you know, you, you what, what's your point of view on right now that slide, that breaking up the double play? And the reason why I ask you that is because you were, in, I was watching the throw that you made to Willie Randolph that um, McCray took, took him out. What, your thoughts on that? Well, my thoughts on that play when McCray took him out, I felt bad for Willie because I kind of caught the ball and I, and I double clutched and thrown to Willie and that gave McCray an extra two or three steps to really knock the hell out of Willie. And so and he, it wasn't a good, I mean, it was what they call an illegal slide. Now he just threw a block into him, but that's the way the game was played there. Nobody, nobody jumped up and said anything illegal about it, but I'm, I'm glad they've kind of, I think they've kind of overdone it now. They, they, they won't let the guy make much contact with the shortstop or second baseman. Mm -hmm. I think, I mean, I think you should be able to take him out and sort play of hard and play hard. Play. I mean, I did. I've had, I've seen pictures of me on a cover of a magazine where I, I took out a second baseman. He's up on my shoulder, and I'm, I'm just coming out of my slide. And he's about ready to flip. But mm -hmm. so, but that was the way it was. It was all clean, and you know, that, you know, even when the when Wilmer got hurt a couple of years ago, I just I didn't think it was a bad slide. He just got himself into a position where he shouldn't have been. You know, that he should have gotten. He should have gotten the ball and got out of there without trying to make the double play. You know, Greg, a lot of people don't remember that the Royals were the, the Yankees' rivalry. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, that slide that when Nettles came in, I was watching it uh, just, to, just to remember it, 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 again, that you and him had that fight. Oh, and Brett, yeah. and Brett slid into me. Yeah, he slid into me. Be, and, you know, and, I mean, people had a fight and nobody got thrown out. Yeah, you know, that's that the was, funniest thing. Because when McRae took Willie out at second base, well, the next night I tried to take their second baseman out, Frank White, and, you know, that's just the way it is, an eye for an eye. And then the next day, Brett comes sliding into third, and he tries to take me out. He throws his forearm into my into my chest, and we end up fighting. And it was the funniest thing, like you said, is nobody got thrown out of the game. I don't think that's ever happened again in baseball where two guys fight, and nobody – I remember the umpire – uh, Marty Springstead was the umpire, and he, after everything cleared, he goes, all right. He points to me. He goes, this is an important guy. He points to Brett. He goes, this is an important guy, and this is an important game, so nobody's getting thrown out of the game. I thought it was great. Now, now, now the reason why I asked you about that slide with George Brett is because I'm sure that you probably had another little, you know, you got back to him with that pine tar because you were the one that uh, I told Billy, listen, this guy's been uh, Yeah, yeah, that was just part of the game, too. I mean, that wasn't anything malicious. I would have done that. To anybody, I mean, because I know that I knew the rule was the rule with the pine tar. It was a silly rule, but the rules are rule. And we got pine tar. We got the whole thing made Brett famous, so he's happy. Now, now talk to me about you and you and Munson because that '78 game when Bucky hit that home run. All I can remember is that when Panella, when they hit that ball to Panella, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't right. the guy. And you going into the arms of uh, jumping into uh, Munson. Uh, jumping in the arms of, yeah. of uh, Gossage. Gossage. When, yeah. when he threw the, he made the pitch to Yastrzemski and he popped it up to me. I mean, that was, that was a pretty tense moment, you know, a pretty tense moment. I told my manager, Bob Lemon, after the game, I said, Bob, I was out there saying, come on, Yaz, pop it up, pop it up. And then when it went up, I said, but not to me, <laughs> not to me, no. Hey. I'm sure that that 77 team, was that the best team that, that, that you ever played for? Uh, I would say the 78 team was maybe a little better than the 77. We won them both, but 78 we kept coming back from so far down all year long, and then we, we passed the Red Sox and beat them, and then we got down 2 to nothing to the Dodgers and came back four straight and beat them. So that year was pretty special. Now, now Billy Martin and uh, Thurman Munson, I mean, I'm sure that every day, Something goes through your mind that, that reminds you of Can you talk to Oh, them? they got along great. They they were they were buddies. I mean, they they. But the guy they, on that team, that was you. you were the, the guy that everybody well, leaned on. Well, maybe I, I, I like to hope so. But uh, we leaned on Thurman an awful lot. He was our captain. Uh, we had some we had some strong personalities on that time. We had uh, we had Thurman. We had Reggie Jackson. Uh, we had, we had, yeah, we had uh, Billy Martin, a manager. And we had George Steinbrenner. So we had a lot of guys fighting for the headlines. Hey, listen, hey, Hall of Fame. You should, you, should, you should be in the Hall of Fame. All right. Tonight. I appreciate it. Thank you. Good luck. All right. Por favor, suscríbete a nuestro canal de YouTube, Las Cinco Esquinas de Nueva York.